Understanding the basic principles of refrigeration makes it easier to understand how the individual components of a refrigeration system operate and how they work together in the refrigeration system. Let's start by establishing what we mean by refrigeration. Some people think that refrigeration is a process that produces cold, but that's not exactly correct. Refrigeration is actually a process that removes heat. In simple terms, refrigeration can be defined as a process of cooling by transferring heat out of a substance. In other words, if you want to cool something, you must remove heat from it. Heat is basically energy. When heat is removed from a substance, the temperature of that substance is lowered. To accomplish cooling, refrigeration systems rely on the heat transfer capabilities of certain fluids. The fluids used in refrigeration systems are called refrigerants. The most commonly used refrigerants are able to absorb large amounts of heat at relatively low temperatures. We'll use this illustration to see how this happens. This valve controls the flow of refrigerant through a section of pipe. When the valve is opened, the refrigerant flows through the pipe past a thermometer. As the refrigerant flows out of the valve, its pressure decreases. This drop in pressure also causes the temperature of the refrigerant to drop. As heat transfers to the refrigerant, the refrigerant begins to boil or vaporize. The refrigerant then flows past the thermometer and absorbs heat from the thermometer and the area around it. The temperature indicated on the thermometer decreases.